Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. There's a lot of speculation going on about Jesse Vargas and Jaime Munguia. Um, Jesse Vargas is moving up to 154 pounds. Um, This is a direct quote from Jesse Vargas. I'm looking forward to the move up and wait. Um, I was struggling to make 147, but the the urge of wanting to regain my title at welterweight kept me there. Moving up to 154 is the best decision I could have made. When asked in reference about fighting, you know, Jaime Munguia, he said, that's the fight that Eddie, my advisors, and I are pursuing. So this will be a very interesting fight, Jaime Munguia versus Jesse Vargas. I think that'll be a fantastic fight. But, you know, when I break down this fight, I see how much bigger, stronger uh, Jaime Munguia is than uh, Jesse Vargas. I see that every shot that Jaime Munguia has has a lot of pop and snap on it, very powerful. And the fact that Jaime Munguia just keeps developing fight after fight after fight. I have to be honest and unbiased when I analyze it. I like Jesse Vargas. I think he's a talented fighter. I think he's a good fighter. But I don't think that he has the skill set and much less the power to transcend weight classes. I think this is a huge mistake for Jesse Vargas. I think Jesse Vargas is going to get stopped within the first five rounds against Jaime Munguia. Um, He's definitely going to have to fight off his back foot. He's definitely going to have to use a lot of lateral movement and head movement more so than he's ever done in any fight because. I believe Jaime Munguia will aim for a spectacular highlight knockout against a Jesse Vargas. And I hate to count out Jesse Vargas, but I just don't believe he can take those shots from Jaime Munguia. I think Jaime Munguia is too strong, too big, and too talented at this point in his career, even being a little green. And he's just still miles and levels above Jesse Vargas. I like Jesse. I think it'll be a good fight, but I think ultimately Jesse gets stops within the first five rounds. But once again, unbiased as always, it's the IBFP. Please share, like, and you must absolutely subscribe.